Hey guys, welcome back to Latin Nation. I'm your host, Humberto Guida. Up next, Jeremy Stevens was born in Des Moines, Iowa. The half Mexican mixed martial artist came from a broken home, constantly switching between schools, shelters, even his mother's car. But growing up, Jeremy found the safety net in sports. Beginning with wrestling, Jeremy then discovered MMA. And since then, he has grown to become one of the most fierce fighters in the UFC featherweight division. With a chance at a title shot, we sit down with Jeremy Little Heathen Stevens to find out what it's going to take to get to the top and why his Mexican side always comes out in the fight. Check it out. And Acción, brought to you by the U.S. Army. Find out more at GoArmy.com. How about the knockout for Jeremy Stevens? Coming off a great win, and uh, you know, who, who's fighting back to back like this? You know, name one champion, there's not. Uh, I'm the guy to do it. I've been around a long time. People know who I am. They know how I get down. Uh, you know, Josh Emmett's coming off a great win. He's uh, made a name for himself and put himself in a top spot. And he's the guy to beat right now. And that's what, exactly what I'm focused on. I plan on going in there and handling him. During these exchanges. Oh! Emmett goes down! Jeremy Stevens trying to close the show! Uh, what's life without pressure, my man? You know, you, you need that pressure to rise to the occasion and uh, make good uh, triumphs. If you look at my record, I've not had one easy fight from 55 to 45. I fought the best of the best, uh, you know, sometimes on short notice and sometimes with full camps, sometimes giving great performances or, you know, losing uh, decisions. So I take that experience in there with me inside that octagon each and every time. Oh, it is all over! Yeah, I've been in wars, but if you, you look, I don't take a lot of damage, my man. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm usually inflicting the damage and, and uh, putting them in on my, my highlight reel. So, uh, you know, the, and why, why take away something that's working? You know, when I'm, when I'm in there knocking people out, you know, we go to, go to wars and there, there's a battle, but I take uh, less of the damage. You know, normally when I'm done fighting, I'm walking out healthy on you know, my last fight. You know, my guys are limping, you know, they're, they're, you know, they're, on, they're on crutches and, you know, they're, 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 uh, they're getting wheelchaired out. So that's not me. You know, you are going to get hit in this sport. I accept it. But, uh, you know, I, I go home pretty healthy all the time. I'm quarter Mexican as well. And, uh, you know, my wife, she's full-blooded, you know, and our, our daughters are Mexican as well. So, yeah, and I, I love all the foods, love the culture. The Latino culture loves me. They love, love the way I fight. I, I bite down my mouthpiece like Julio Cesar Chavez. Uh, you know, and if you see my dad, you, you, you definitely get it. My dad's way dark, brown-eyed, so is my mom. Uh, I got my light eyes from my, uh, my abuelo, and uh, it is what it is, man. I, I, I love the culture, like I said, and uh, we get down. I've evolved every day, man. You know, I, I'm, I'm a human. I've, I make mistakes. I do, I do that I'm not supposed to do. And I go back and I learn from it. You know, you live, you learn. That's, that's part about being a man, being, being a father, and, and uh, being a fighter. Uh, I've learned from my losses. You can look, go back and look at my fights and you can be like, damn, Jeremy's actually evolved every time. He's uh, took that loss, uh, he's accepted it, he's came back, and he's, and he's grown, and he's progressed and moved past that. I use the Charles Darwin theory, you know, again, is, uh, it's not the strongest or the smartest person who's willing to survive, it's the person who's uh, willing to adapt to change. Can you make them changes, you know, and now, I'm starting to take that and make those changes in between rounds, as you can tell the last fight. You know, I lost that first round. It was, it was pretty close, but I was able to make the adjustments and uh, do that inside the octagon. Dominic Cruz, good friend of mine, uh, mentor, and just an overall leader. He was telling me about how you have to be able to make those changes minute by minutes, round by round, second by second. And uh, we're putting it all together, like my man asked over there. That's what I'm doing at 31 years of age. My, my punch count's doubled now that uh, you know, I've gotten older in my career. And uh, things, things are getting better, and this, this is a lifestyle for me. I've, I've made it into my life, and uh, you know, I carry myself uh, accordingly on the outside of the ring as well. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jay!